Good morning, Melon Peeps. It's the Melon Bros today, and we're nice and early in the morning. Nice and overcast. Missed a uh, couple of the last days of work because it's been raining. As you can tell, the furrows have kind of muddy. But today we're going to be picking weeds, just pulling the weeds, uh, maintaining the fills right now. Uh, not sure what else we're going to be doing today, but guys, please hit the subscribe button because we're going to, as soon as we get to 100 subscribers, we want to get a drone so we can get drone shots so if you guys like the video please like and subscribe as soon as we get to 100 subscribers we'll get a drone hey so right now i'm walking through the rows right now to show you guys what we're doing so we're going to be pulling the weeds so let me show you guys uh weeds like that right there on the side of the rows uh we also have to pull the weeds if there's any in the plant hole uh, but as far as the rows right now that we're going to be working on, it doesn't seem like there's going to be any weeds in the rows. They're just going to be weeds like this on the side of the rows. Uh, as you can tell, let's look at these plants. These are the plants that we planted with our uh, second planting. The plants are pretty small. Uh, they're not really taken off because it's, uh, it's cold out. It's really not warm enough for the plants to start growing and get bigger. So the plants, as you can tell, they're not really getting any big getting really big they're pretty much staying the same size that we planted them in so once it gets hot we'll show you guys once they take off all right it's damon with you now we just came from right over here where we're gonna be pulling the weeds for today coming and check out the cucumbers see how they're doing and already finding some uh plants that have cucumbers on it right here got a couple more right over here these are the size these cucumbers are going to get. These are pickling cucumbers. This variety is called a Eureka. They are going to stay pretty much this size. They don't get too much bigger than that. everyone i just got done with our uh my row my dad got done my brother got done my uncle's still working on his row so the rows were a lot muddier than we were expecting i had to start walking on the rows uh let me show you my boots they're pretty muddy yeah so the rows are a lot muddier than we we're expecting so it's kind of a little taking a little longer than we we're hoping but we're gonna keep going we have some more to do and then we'll go to the next task Hey everyone, so we just got done uh, pulling all the weeds. Uh, we came back to our barns and we just got this, which is a trailer of all our plants, which we're planting again today, which is gonna be like an in-between planting between second and third planting. Uh, so like there's an easier transition once we start harvesting between the second and third planting, we'll, we'll have melons. Down here is our ambrosias, which is our main melon that we usually grow that we're known for and then we have up here is eggplant and uh some peppers hey so uh now i'm gonna go over to my brother and my dad where they are setting up our quick hitch which is uh something we set up to our tractor so it makes it easier to for us to hook up our planter so everyone uh we got the quick hitch on the tractor uh, my brother is going over to the planter which is right over there and we're gonna go set that up okay so we just got finished uh setting up the planter uh now i am filling up the tank with water right now next we will put all the plants on here that we're going to be planting go out into the fields and start planting we do. all right we're getting ready to plant just this little bit of uh melons right here we only have this and a couple oh, trays of uh, peppers. It's only gonna go in these first couple rows. I think it's gonna be eight rows right here. That's all we have to do. 
All right, we just got done planting these four rows. We have four rows right here of melon, and then two rows of uh, two different varieties of eggplant right here. These are supposed to go in the second planting right here, but we didn't have, uh, these ones weren't ready yet. So they, the nursery just brought them to us today. So we planted them. So they'll be about a week behind, but that's not too big of a deal. All right, we came over here to our first planting uh, of melons right here. We had some uh, leftover transplants from what we just did earlier. So we put the rest of the melons that we had left over in these rows because the gopher and some squirrels have been eating them. So this section right here got eaten up by gophers and squirrels. But just this section, everything else is all there and good. As you can see that the, uh, the runners are already filling up the row. The, you can't really see the dirt really too much anymore. This past week we came in here, uh, finished pulling the weeds for the last time. So it took us about six hours one day for three of us to do all 70 rows in this block right here. I'm just gonna walk through these uh, rows right here to check out some of the plants because they already have melons on it right here. See? These were planted April 14th and 15th. So it's been a little over 30 days now. It's uh, May 19th today. Got all different sized melons already. Got probably about five, five melons already on this plant right here. You got one, two, three, four, and then a fifth one over here. All right, just gonna go check out the other varieties of melons that we got, and you can see the difference of uh, how the melons look right now compared to the the ambrosia that I just showed you. And go take you to the watermelons, see how big the watermelons are already. All right, this is the second variety of melons we have right here. These are the candus. These ones you can see are a little bit more kind of like a ball. The other ones are a little bit growing out longer. These ones a little bit smaller than the other ones. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but right here you can see the different shades of uh, plants from the different varieties. Right here you can see this is a little bit lighter green, and the ones right here next to it are a little bit darker green. And then it switches back to lighter green right next to that. Alright, we're getting over here to our watermelons right here. See if we can find a decent sized melon. All right, you got a little watermelon right here. Let's see, you got another one. This one right here, I believe, is the seeded watermelon, the pollinators for the seedless watermelons. You got another one, a little bit bigger, right here. So we should be harvesting hopefully these melons over here towards the end of June. Next week, uh, towards the end of next week, it's supposed to be a couple days in the hundreds, high 90s, low hundreds over here. So these plants are really going to start taking off and the melons are really going to start growing. Hey everyone, it's the Melon Bros logging off. So please hit that subscribe button because as soon as we get to 100 subscribers, we will get a drone so we can get you guys some drone shots. So please subscribe, like, comment down below.